Hello, this is Dream. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to share a fun card animation effect with you. This card can highlight different content by flipping, making your presentation more vivid and memorable. Now let's start the tutorial. First, adjust the background color on a blank PPT slide. Set the background color to white darker 5%. Next, insert a text box. Type in the letters. Here I choose the impact font, set the font size to 150, and adjust it to a suitable position on the slide. Hold down Ctrl plus Shift and drag the letter to duplicate it horizontally. Then press the F4 key and PPT will automatically repeat the duplication operation. Finally, modify them to the corresponding letters. Then adjust the gradient color for the letters. I use a specific color scheme here and the operation method is very simple. Let me give you an example. Select the target letter, choose Gradient Fill in Text Options, delete the two middle stops, and adjust the gradient angle to 45 degrees. Pick colors from the slide for the left and right gradient stops respectively. Then adjust the position of the gradient. A nice gradient font is done. Repeat the same steps for the other letters, and finally you will get a set of exquisite gradient letters. Create a new blank slide, copy the previous slide. On the new blank slide, select Picture in Paste Options, shrink the copied picture and place it on the left side of the slide. Hold down Ctrl plus Shift, drag the picture and duplicate it again. Next, process the left picture to set it as the PPT background. Select the left picture, click Format Picture, Choose Blur Effect in Artistic Effects and set the parameter to 20. In the Picture Settings, adjust the brightness to 5%. Then cut the picture, click the blank area of the PPT, select Format Background, click Picture or Texture Fill, and choose Clipboard. Now the blurred picture becomes the background. Finally, resize the picture to fit the slide. After that, enter the required text on the slide. This operation is relatively simple so I won't show it in detail. I'll just copy it directly. Insert a rounded rectangle, adjust its size to cover the lower half of the letters and the text. Set the border of the rounded rectangle to white with a width of 1 pt and 40% transparency. Change the shape fill to slide background fill. Add a gray downward shadow to the shape. Adjust the transparency, blur, and distance parameters to make the shadow effect softer. After the settings are completed, you will find that the rounded rectangle covers the text. At this time, open the selection pane, drag the rounded rectangle above the bottom picture so that it is placed at the bottom of all text, then adjust the position appropriately. Next, duplicate the current slide three times. On the second slide, hold down shift to adjust the position of the rounded rectangle and place it above the corresponding text. Do the same for the third and fourth slides. On the first slide, change the color of the other three text sections to gray, except for the one that needs to be highlighted. Do the same for the next three slides. Keep the text on the card black and change the rest to gray. The final step is to add the flip effect to the card. On the second and fourth slides, select the rounded rectangle, click rotate and choose flip horizontal. Add the Morph Transition effect uniformly to the subsequent slides and set the transition time to one second. Now, a fun flip card animation effect is completed. That is done for today's sharing. Welcome to subscribe to my channel for more practical tool usage tips. If you need the document shown in the video, click the link below the video to get it. See you next time.